Hi everybody, this is Scott Saad. Gorgeous day today in Montreal, truly splendid. Early this morning, my wife and I left to one of our favorite spots to get some food. And I violated one of my central weekend edicts, which is to never check my emails on the weekend as a stress management technique. And so I checked uh, my emails. You know, emails can be a great thing. You can be receiving a wonderful news, or of course, it could be a lot of negative stuff. And so let me give you the background to the email that I just received that uh, uh, propelled me to do this clip. So yesterday I was sitting at the cafe working and uh, a friend of mine who's a PhD in uh, operations research slash applied mathematics came up to me as he was leaving and said, uh, oh, you should check out this uh, AI pioneer. Uh, I think you guys might have a great chat. Uh, you know, check him out. And I, I didn't know who the guy was. And so I went and, you know, searched him up on Google, looked, looked, looked who he was and I thought, oh, you know, this this sounds like an interesting guy. Let me, okay, drop everything that I'm doing. And I spent probably about 25 minutes writing him, you know, a very nice email, introducing myself, addressing him, of course, properly. I'm big on etiquette, saying here are the things that we might have in common to discuss. Uh, you know, we'd have a great conversation. I look forward to hearing back from you, you know, giving him some overlap of interest that we may have, people that I've invited on the show that he may be familiar with, you know, so that the person can feel as though there could be a an interesting conversation that could be had. Uh, so, you know, it took me probably about, as I said, about, you know, 20, 25 minutes to, you know, uh, go through the whole process. Today, when I checked my emails, the response was, no thanks. Okay. Now, I want to contextualize uh, that behavior, say, to my behavior. I receive innumerable invitations in, in, on any given day. So in a week, I might have 20, 30, 40, 50 invitations, including from people who are, you know, uh, starting their podcast. They have 12 subscribers. There's some guy in their basement saying, hey, I saw you on Joe Rogan. I love your work. Would you be my first guest? Now, that person took time of their day, however busy or not busy they are, to write to me. So... If you're a decent person, you owe that person to say, oh, thank you so much, Mr. So-and-so. That's a lovely invitation. I wish I could accept all the people that, you know, uh, you know, I'm sure I would have a great conversation with, but please forgive me. I'm preparing for my book launch or whatever, right? So that, that way, the person who had the courage to write to you, who took time of their day to write to you, feels whole. They weren't disrespected. They weren't slighted. Most of the time, they will write back to me and say, oh, my God, thank you so much for writing back. I didn't even expect that you would write to me, right? Well, I'm not a guy from the street or, you know, with 12 subscribers. And I don't mean to imply that you should be kind or not kind, depending on how prestigious the person is writing to you. But I'm writing to you. I'm taking a lot of time from my day to address you properly, to write to you, to, to be polite to you, to compliment you. So let's suppose you didn't want to come on the show. Oh, I'm I'm really sorry, Professor Saad, but uh, you know I'm currently not uh, taking any interviews for reasons X, Y, Z. Uh, I, I I'm sure that we would have had a great conversation. It was really sweet of you to write to me. When I take 25 minutes to write to you and and you write back, no thanks. Actually, that's worse than if you never wrote back. Because if you never wrote back, that gives the sender at least the 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 way out to say oh maybe it went into a spam you, you so you you try to protect the other person to try to explain why they never bothered to write back to you okay life is about respect life is about etiquette life is, so some people say oh you know you're uh, you're combative uh, doctor sad gad professor sad it's not that I'm combative I'm actually incredibly warm and polite and sweet but for better or worse, perhaps that's not what the Stoic would teach us. I don't take well when people act like sheer, utter cretins. It 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 touches me personally, whether I see it in someone interacting with me or someone interacting with someone else, right? I I see someone speaking in a nasty way to a child. I'll, I'm the guy who intervenes because I just can't bear 
that kind of ugliness. And that's why sometimes people say, oh, but you know, you're prickly. No, I actually have a deontological set of principles, which if I see them being violated, I get pissed off. So this is what I wrote to AI pioneer. Some of you who don't know artificial intelligence may not appreciate the humor there, but here we go. The current, so this is my response to this big pioneer who wrote back to my very lovely, polite, and gracious invitation who wrote, no thanks. I wrote back, the current AI bot that provided this dismissive and breathtakingly rude reply fails the Turing test. Please provide it with greater supervised learning so that it might eventually act in a more gracious, human-like manner. I'm sure that with the proper guidance, it will pass the Turing test. I recently was thinking about this as I was reading through the uh, book on Marcus Aurelius, right? The idea is that the Stoics Epictetus said, you know, it's not the event that happens, but it's how you respond to the event that ends up, you know, that is within your control, right? So the Stoics might say, oh, the guy was breathtakingly dismissive, arrogant, and, an, and just a sheer asshole. Just go like this, right? Well, but we also, as I, by the way, put this question to the gentleman who wrote this book, Donald Robertson, I said, look, but evolutionarily speaking, some of the stoic edicts don't make sense because we've evolved the emotional system to, for example, to seek retribution when we're harmed, to have a sense of revenge if somebody harms us or our loved ones. So the idea that, you know, turn the other cheek is certainly not an evolutionarily uh, adaptive strategy, stable strategy across all conditions. So I, I thought, well, should I just ignore this guy or not? Well, if I ignore him without sending him that reply, in my view, I'm being inauthentic. In my view, I'm saying you can get away with treating people like dirt and that's okay. Just because you are a cantankerous 75 year old pure cretin doesn't give you the right to treat other with such lack of respect there you have it folks don't let people walk all over you always walk tall always walk with full dignity and uh that's it people i mean the reason why i think i'm able to receive the 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 the, 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 the love and support from people I, today i was walking with my wife people stopped me I treat people with kindness. They're, they're coming up to you. They appreciate you. Take a moment. Look at them in the eyes. Say thank you so much for your kind words. Be decent. And so while I may be infinitely kind, you step on me. I'm coming for you. I came very close to actually saying who this guy is, but I'll be classy and won't mention who the gentleman is. Well, gentlemen, but... Uh, not with this guy. I never, ever will sacrifice a millimeter of my dignity for anyone stepping on me. Take care, everybody. Cheers.